Hello there! My name is Vitor and I'm here to do my first book review in my booktube channel. Yeah, let's do it! So the book I'll be reviewing today is Legend by Marie Lu. This is the first book in the Legend trilogy. I finally managed to finish this and it was so so good. And um, I can't wait to discuss it with you guys. So the story takes place in the um, Western United States, I believe, uh, which uh, kind of gives birth to this huge nation called the Republic. And the Republic is currently at war with this other faction called uh, the Colonies. And uh, the story is told from two different perspectives, two point of views, both from our protagonists. June and Day. So June is this 15-year-old girl who has been uh, recently recruited to this military force and she wants to take revenge for her brother's death. She believes uh, Day is the one who killed her brother and she will hunt him down seriously. And then there's Day. Um, Day is this 15-year-old boy who is considered a wanted criminal by the Republic due to his previous crimes against the nation. So I'll try to organize my review into five sections, parts, and uh, for each part I will consider one star based on the Goodreads rating, whatever, you get the idea. In this review of mine there will be spoilers, so if you haven't read this book yet, I suggest you leave and read the book, and then when you finish reading Legend, you can come back and discuss it with me. Goodbye people who don't like spoilers at all. And let's get started with this book review. Let's talk about the cover first. So, uh, if I hadn't uh, read the book, I wouldn't understand what this cover actually means. And now that I've finished, I quite like this, the meaning that this cover has. Like, what the cover is trying to say to me as a reader. I mean, we know uh, this symbol, which is the Republic symbol, formed by this golden sand, question mark, and um, I interpreted it as um, being a metaphor for the blade that has spread across all sectors. And the culprit is right here, right in front of you, right under your nose, and you don't even suspect it unless you read the book. So, I, I also really like the font they used uh, for the title. It, it made me remember um, uh, that font they used um, to, to the Hunger Games movie posters. And um, I really, really like uh, this cover in general, even the spine. Uh, it looks great on my bookshelf. And um, I will give it one star. Well done, Penguin. Well done. So the second part will be about the plot. So the plot is very fast-paced. I didn't have any kind of problem understanding it. It wasn't that difficult to follow, but I kind of wish the plot were just a little bit slower because uh, I think that relationship between um, June and Day happens too quickly. We don't get to see enough development about that specific relationship, and I really would have liked to see it, to have a better development of this relationship. But overall, I did like the plot. So, congratulations, uh, Marie Lu, you did an awesome job with the plot, so another star for this book. Now let's talk about the world building. 
Oh, the world building was mind blowing. Was just. I never read a book like this before in my entire life. Um, the only dystopian books I read so far was um, The Hunger Games and Divergent. And uh, neither of them were uh, with this kind of society. A military society? Question mark. And um, I know Divergent has uh, this um, uh, dauntless kids coming around with weapons and all of that. But this book actually has a military force which pretty much controls everything. And that's super cool. I really like this kind of books. They always end up in intriguing me and I do think that the world building is not that difficult to understand and it's pretty much simple. So another start for it, now I'll talk about the characters. I didn't exactly had a um okay, I had a kinda a difficult relationship with the characters in general. I did like June I thought and I still think that she is a strong female character. I really liked her personality. She knows what she wants, she is willing to go to the world's end, uh, if you know what I'm saying, uh, in order to take revenge for her brother's death. She may be stubborn, she may be persistent, but she also shows this vulnerability um, that makes her a complete human being because nobody's perfect, not even June. So let's talk about Day for a moment. Um, I'm still trying to decide if I like Day or not because I don't know what's wrong with him, honestly. I mean, I think he doesn't know how to deal with his own emotions. I mean, there was this moment uh, in which he was completely sad, depressed and really angry towards um, Thomas who shot his mother. He didn't show that same emotion towards June. I do know that it's not entirely her fault that his mother got killed by Thomas, but she is kinda guilty for leaving those events to a fatal end, kind of. Mostly because, uh, June, what is your problem? You know that Thomas will follow um, Commander Jameson's orders no matter what. And we're talking about the Republic, there's no need for you to ask. Please don't hurt innocent people. I mean, we're not talking about some misbehaved government. We're talking about the Republic. Please, June. And there was this another moment about Day as well, um, almost at the end of the book. And it was. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's here. It's about um, when. It's right at the moment when uh, June tells Day what happened. Um, Soon after they escaped uh, the, um, the Republic and, uh, and are now in some sector which I don't know what it is. Oh, it's here. Um, June cries out in pain and I realize that she's injured. A deep gash runs across her shoulder, staining her shirt with blood. What am I doing? yelled at her. Oh, I found it. June cries out in pain and I realize that she's injured. A deep gasp runs across her sh shoulder, staining her shirt. Oh, here. June cries out in pain and I realize that she's injured. A deep gash runs across her shoulder, staining her shirt with blood. What am I doing yelling at her? I 
tear a strip of cloth from the bottom of my shirt and I try to wrap her wound the way Tess would. I pull my cloth tight and tie it off. June winces. Yeah, Day, I don't understand why you're angry with her. I mean, your brother John sacrificed in order to save you both. It's not her fault. And soon after that, when he sees that she's injured, he pulls her to his arms and kinda uh, embraces her in a way. And Day, do you hate her or not? Decide yourself. I really liked uh, Tess as well. At least for me, I didn't have enough moments with this character. I hope in the following books, Prodigy and Champion, she... Um, is more like a regular presence within the plot uh, in, in some sort of way, you know. Uh, and Kaede. Uh, Kaede is an awesome character. I wouldn't expect uh, for her to be a um, patriot at all. Uh, and I pictured her as uh, Maggie Q. Uh, Probably because I watched her playing Tori in the Divergent movie, so it is really, really cool. But in general, I didn't, like I mentioned, I didn't have a, an easy uh, relationship with the character, so I'm going to give uh, this part uh, a half star. So, about the writing now, the final part. Oh my gosh, the writing is so good. It is not too complicated, but it's not too simple. It's like that pretty awesome writing that you can easily understand. I understood 85% of this book because there were some words I didn't quite understand and I had to do these uh, tiny uh, researches over the internet in order to understand their meanings and all of that. I seriously had no problem while reading this book. I just wished I had read it sooner, but now I'm kind of going to be uh, depressed because I don't have either Prodigy or Champion. Overall, I will give this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. So, I think that's it. I hope you did enjoy this book review of mine. I admit I was quite nervous about doing my first uh, review here in my booktube channel. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!